So hi guys, welcome to another episode of Unconventional Designs. Today um, we'll be talking about responsiveness again. Um, today is going to be like kind of um, special because I'll be showing you how to really go from mobile to a tablet to a desktop screen in real time on Figma, just like this. You can see directly from the screen. From mobile to desktop to tablet in real time. So if you really want to know how to do this, you will have to stick the end and watch this video to the end. Thank you. Let's get started. All right. So we don't mix waste too much of our time. Um, today, um, this, this, this was um, re requested by one of our viewers from the last video we uh, dropped. The person requested for um, him to be able to see this move from um, desktop, then the this guy changes from the navigation here to this navigation here. That was what the person requested for, and I promised to do that for the person, regardless of um, um, having to take us back in time to responsiveness. So um, now I would love to show you how this was done in real time. So um, this video is going to be very short because we already um, worked around responsiveness last week. So the only thing I'm just adding is the hero session, which is this guy, the way switching from mobile to web version. So that's the only thing we are adding today. So um, I, I already created this before the um, video, so I won't be going through that again for some reasons. So um, all of that. So these guys were created using the auto layout um, um, graphics, which is this. So I'll just um, try to create it again, just to show you how this was done. So um, this was. Okay, so um, let me create another desktop screen. Look at this guy. I'm going to be here. So um, currently, this is what we have as um, our desktop screen, and um, I would not like to start creating this from scratch again. This is going to just make the video um, so long, so I'll just be showing you. The other screens were created. So um, now let me create a mobile phone. Which is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think that that's not bad. Really. So let me get the the build for me. To get the good here, so be nice. So um yeah, so I'm also trying to get this guy um, also the mobile. So the mobile was created. I think the screen size I use for the other mobile screen is kind of bigger, so it's kind of smaller, so I think this is bigger. So um this guy. So we have this here, and um, this is settled. So from our web screen, we'll just carry this guy again from my web to my mobile. I know you'll be shocked and surprised how are we carrying the same thing from web to mobile. So um, auto layout. This thing was created with auto layout. So I. The entire session is completely to so I can switch it and say I can make it um, 
but scout direction to change what we using from now and I can make it back to the original scout direction. So that that's why autoliat is a very key feature in um, design in Figma and it's it's really amazing that it was it was um, brought up um, so much. It's it's actually um, very good to work with. So that was done. So all I need to do is just scale it down and make it fit into my uh, my my grid lines and I'll just center the text and we're done. Pretty much we're done. So you see that I, I don't need to create anything from scratch for one of mobile. Then um we're creating another for tablet. So I'll be using the iPad Pro to create that. So iPad Pro let me carry the navigation from the iPad. So yeah, so I just come here and let me take the I'm trying to copy the grid system I have to create that because we already learned how to create that before. So the next thing I'll do also is to carry this from my desktop and put it in my tablet and still go around the same style I used on the mobile to create this guy. So the next thing is to center you and center you and also bring all of this to the center. Yeah, bring all of this to the center. So we have all of this in the center and I think it's perfect. So we can just um, bring our design down a little bit. And if we like to kind of rearrange all of this, then we can arrange all of this guy. And um, yeah, we can try to arrange all of this guy. So see, you can see that even if your tablet is smaller, so let me adjust this here to see. Even if your tablet is smaller, So we're going to frame that and constrain this to left to, to the to the right, you know, to the right to the left. Constrain this to the left. So even if your tablet is smaller, this will still take care of it. So it's going to be breaking into smaller pieces bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. Can you see that? Instead of the constraint to so to the left and right. Yeah, so I see that it's going to be constrained bit by bit, bit by bit, and it's going to break up. So that's 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 that and that and um let's move back to our normal. So now what I'll be showing you is how to move it just like this from desktop, then it breaks to tablet then to mobile can you see that desktop um tablet still tablet then to desktop then to still desktop different screen sizes on desktop can you see that then it keeps going it just keep going so let's 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 get started with that so before we can achieve that, um, the first thing we do is get um, the plugin, which is called Breakpoint. So Breakpoint allows you to be able to achieve what I just showed you now. So let me move. Let me see if we can move that so that you see it in real time. So um, first is go on your Figma plugin here. You see breakpoint. Um, it's it says that you have um 15 days of free trial left, and um, you might have to pay for it after 15 days. So um, I'm using this um, because of the tutorial and all of that. So let's 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 start with that. So um, 
pretty much what we'll be doing is continue click on continue and the first thing you see is new adaptive layout so when you click on that it shows you this pretty little guy here and um, you can now make your breakpoints for it so currently the breakpoint I have for this mobile is 430 so I can just come here and write the smallest is 430 then um, the next one I'll be looking at is 1420 there about so instead of going back to 420 let's use 600 let's use let's use a 600 a, maybe let's use a 700 maybe 700 then let's add more let's go for a 1400 1000 1024 1, then the next one we go for is a 1000 a 1,040, now a 1,140, 1,140, so that works. So what we'll be doing now is, let's look for a, let's create a 700 um, mobile size phone, I'll have to make this a constraint, so that's what we get done. And create a frame around it and update it from um, the right and to the left so you can make this left and right. So I'm trying to create something around 700, there about 700. Seven hundred. Yeah, seven hundred. Yeah, about seven hundred. Seven hundred. So, so nice. So this guy. That's for a another mobile iPhone. I don't know. That's it. Another mobile. Or. Yeah, I think I think that works really. So um I'm just trying to show you how it changes from this to this. So we have our yeah, we have our seven hundred. So before we can make this work, what we do is we will make everything a component one by one. The iPhone, your iPhone, so this guys. We make all of them a component, then we now start picking them as we want. So for the first, we have we select this for second. We select this for the second. We already did seven hundred, seven hundred. We select it already. One thousand four hundred. Select it already. Then I think for this guy, I select this. So one thousand six hundred. So all of this has been done. So um, all we just have to do is. Now show you what is ready. So the, you can see these lines here that shows all of this guy. See 430, 700, 1400, uh, 1024, 1440, 1600. This is the full width of a web screen. Then when you move down to this, it's still it's still reduced. Can you see the text reducing? Then when we now move down to 1400 which is our desktop uh, which is our ipad it changes from this own navigation to this guy here then it changes then it reduces on mobile then it now breaks all of this on mobile so that's that's kind of really fantastic because it enables you to see your design across every part of the phones and you can see how that is looking really 
include an responsive so cool so cool so cool that's like so so cool so you can you can also adjust your design as as same fit for you if you feel this guy should be broken more he has broken down more on mobile so you can you can also adjust it and it will reflect in our designs also to reflect right there on the designs to, to reflect right there on the design so if you come back here now and say this guy to be just like this can you see that if you just say it's on a mobile then you know of all of these guys then you know of all of these guys can you see so cool so that's that's how to do a responsive design on figma from mobile to ipad to desktop so desktop to macintosh and so mark books and all of that size so that is how fast the video is today and thank you for watching and um if you still have more questions and um, things to say please let us know thank you very much for staying to the end and um i'd love to see you next week when we talk about more amazing design tips thank you so much